three older sisters, which were a lot hipper than me. It definitely helped a lot to have them take me out and you know take me to train yards or clubs or whatever, where I did meet a lot of great people and soak up a lot of the wonderful culture happening in the city at the time. Graffiti, the breakdancing, the b-boying, music, punk rock, hip hop, the rock and roll scene, these sort of dregs of the folk scene on Bleecker Street or whatever, like it was all a huge part of come together to make me who I am today. I wrote graffiti pretty much through like uh, junior high up until college. Through skateboarding, you know, I met a lot of cool cats like Stack of Lee and we would go downtown, whether it's to buy a punk rock t-shirts at Bleecker Bob's or like go check out a hardcore matinee at CB's or whatever, you know, it was just where all the cool kids would be. What I thought was really great about it was that it wasn't something that was like prepackaged and spoon-fed, it was something that you did by yourself, you know? That DIY culture is definitely like something that's stayed with me and, 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 and it's my constant companion. I experienced the blues before I necessarily heard it as a, you know, American music form. The tradition that my, my, my parents brought with them to this country and a lot of the music that I listened to growing up, that would be a bachata or merengue, all instruments and and, and disciplines in which you know I was able to play with as a child, sort of my, my birthright. I came to the blues through uh, the later kind of like electric stuff. When I started digging a little bit deeper and realizing you know the cats that influenced these cats, and really felt that there was something definitely uncomfortable and haunting about it that spoke to me and kept me in that creative zone. For me, the, the sort of very basic essence of, you know, the structure for this uh, early Delta Blues is at the heart of the type of music that I like to play. It's a, it's a folk art form in a way, carving wood or the way uh, knitting a quilt is. And, and I think there's something very sincere and beautiful in presenting your thoughts, ideas, and, 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 and feelings that way. I was sleeping where I should not be, with whom I should not be sleeping.